My name is Eric Giz Gewurz. I'm the director of Lord of the Rings Conquest, and I'm here to talk to you about uh, the evil campaign. One of the things we wanted to do at the beginning of this game, we knew for Lord of the Rings Conquest, that we wanted this game to have the epic feeling from both sides of the battle from Lord of the Rings. So we wanted to give you the experience of being the heroes and of being the forces of good and reliving the moments from the battles of the films uh, any way you want. But at the same time, we wanted to be able to tap into those dark fantasies you've had of what happens if you were actually one of the warriors in Sauron's army. So building off that idea, we got inspired on this idea of an evil campaign. And what if you could play the evil campaign from the side of the bad guys and really uh, experience what it would have been like to conquer Middle Earth for the forces of evil. So what we did is we started with the premise of what if Frodo had failed in destroying the ring. So in the evil campaign, you start at Mount Doom and you're trying to stop Frodo from destroying the ring. You get there just before he's about to drop the ring into the cracks of doom. You defeat him and you deliver the ring to Sauron. And what this does is make Sauron powerful again. And he's able to rally his forces and drive the forces of good outside of the Black Gate and into Middle Earth. And as the forces of good kind of retreat and the armies of West retreat back to Minas Tirith and to Rivendell and all these fortresses of good, the evil forces trail along beside them. The other idea is that now that Sauron is powerful again, he's able to resurrect his generals. So he resurrects the Witch King and Saruman and even Balrog. You also get to fight and confront all the heroes of the Fellowship that you once were the heroes. So you get to defeat Legolas and Gandalf and Gimli and Aragorn and Elrond and all these forces of good as you make your way across Middle-earth. Climaxing in a final showdown at the Elven Fortress of Rivendell where you've surrounded them, conquering the Elven Fortress and driving the forces of good back out of the land. Some of the cool things you get to do as the forces of evil is you get to play as an actual troll. You get to play as a giant troll with a huge club and you get to knock guys around, send them flying. You get to pick up enemy units and throw them across the battlefield. If they hit other allied units, they'll scatter like bowling pins. Um, you really get a sense of power as you move through uh, as a giant troll. You get to ride the massive wargs, those wolf-like beasts from the films, trampling enemies underfoot. You've got a giant sword and you're cutting down guys left and right as you cross the battlefield on this giant wolf beast. Uh, you get to ride the actual Oliphants. You get to trample them. You get to use the tusks to knock guys left and right. Uh, you get all the tools of siege uh, mechanics that the forces of evil had. You get to uh, use those giant siege towers that assaulted Minas Tirith. You get to use the enemy catapults, battering rams, ballista, all the tools of war at your disposal for the forces of evil. One of the coolest parts of being evil is actually getting to destroy the Shire. We have a full level design where the hobbits have rallied and they're trying to defend the Shire from your overpowering forces and you march in there with Sauron and the Balrog and just lay the place to waste. Um, you get to fight Gandalf in this level, you get to command giant Felby swooping down from the sky, trolls and wargs as you kind of crush uh, the forces of the Shire and drive the hobbits out of their peaceful homes. We're really excited to give fans the opportunity to play something and play in the Lord of the Rings universe a way that they never have before and give them the freedom to experience what it's like to really be evil.